darkness is not danger. It is inevitable destruction. You stand in the way not merely of an individual, but of a mighty organization, the full extent of which even you, with all your cleverness, have been unable to realize. You must stand clear, Mr. Holmes, or be trodden underfoot. Mystery is made possible by a grant from Mobile Corporation. Good evening and welcome to Mystery for the last of our series of The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. I'm Vincent Price. Last week, we met Holmes's arch rival, Professor Moriarty, whom Holmes called the Napoleon of Crime. Moriarty had been a professor of mathematics at a small English university, but dark rumors began to circulate about him, which caused him to resign his position. He moved to London and very quickly became the leader of organized English crime and the most vicious and skillful of Holmes's opponents. Perhaps Conan Doyle introduced Moriarty as a way of satisfying his boredom with Holmes. For after 23 stories, the author had become very tired of his fictional hero. He said, I fear that Mr. Sherlock Holmes may become like one of those tenors who, having outlived their time, are still tempted to make repeated farewell bows to their indulgent audiences. This must cease. Professor Moriarty shared those views, as we'll see tonight in The Final Problem. 